so let's say I'm happy with this animation. Uh, now I may want to clean up some of those rotation on the y and x axis of my articulations like the the forearm, the calf. You can see that I have some micro rotation here uh, or some bigger rotation like uh, like 12 degrees is, is quite a lot. So intuitively you would come in the rotation of that, that arm and then take those keys and put them at zero, right? So look at what happens if I zero out all my keys. Okay, I removed the rotation on X and Y, but I also moved my hand. It used to be like this, and now it's like that. So before doing this, you actually want to activate the IKEA blend on your hand and on your elbow. But if I do that, because I haven't baked yet, I may have some bad surprises and some artifacts that are like unpredictable. So you first want to bake your animation. I have a key, full body key on every frame, so I'm safe. I can play around with the IKEA blending, nothing's gonna happen. So I'm gonna put the IKEA blend on the feet, on the, the hands at 100% uh, on both translation and rotation. And on the knees and elbows, I'm gonna put the IKEA blend uh, translation on, not the rotation. I'm gonna take the calf and the forearms I'm going to take all my curves, so sometimes it doesn't manage to take the curve, uh, go out of story and, and go out of F curves and come back. And now if I take everything, zero it out. This time it almost looks like nothing happened. Uh, because it kept like the positioning of the elbow, the positioning of the hand and the rotation of the hand. So my world space animation looks like it's the same, but the, the limb itself is actually fixed. Now I have zero on X and Y. Same for the legs. And again, I can bake that up. And I can now disable this in case I need to edit my animation further and I don't want this IK blending. Now my animation is fixed and ready to be exported. You can do a similar trick on the head and on the clavicles if you need to uh, clean up the, the roll. So if you don't want any like X rotation on the neck or on the clavicles, you can uh, put IK blend T and R on both. Take your clavicles and your head. Set all the X rotation to zero. And if you need to clean up the roll rotations uh, on a lot of takes at once, you can uh, bake all your takes, then take the calf and the leg, uh, go in the F curves and select those keys, lock the F curves, and then quickly jump to your other takes. In the base layer frame, you'll see that there's still some, some keys and you can go in and paste your zero keys everywhere do that on multiple takes or you can use a relation constraint constraint I'm gonna call it uh, relation temp roll fix you want to take your forearm and calf uh, FKs drag them in as sender and also drag them in as receiver okay take a converter uh, vector to number Take the rotation and then plug it again. Uh, take maybe the Z number and plug it again in its uh, counterpart. So left forearm, left forearm. Make sure you just use the Z rotation and uh, disconnect the X. So the X and Y are now receiving uh, zero value. So we're, we are zeroing out the X and Y rotation. But instead of doing it manually with the F curves, we do it here with a relation constraint. Uh, you'll see that it breaks here on the screen. That's because uh, 
those rotation values are in weld space right now. So we need to select all the uh, bones and right click and say local transform. Okay, and make sure, of course, you still have your IKEA blend set up properly. So we just want to do that for all the limbs. So now all my limbs are fixed and I can bake that on all the takes at once uh, without having to copy paste my keys everywhere. And of course, once I'm done with this, I should disable this relation uh, to keep animating and then uh, bake again and come back and reactivate it if I need to clean up the rolls on a lot of takes.